Mr. Costello. Madam Speaker, I regret to inform the members that um, former Congressman Henry Hyde died this past Friday, November 30th. Henry served in the Illinois legislature for eight years from 1967 to 1974. Henry was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives in 1974 and served for 32 years until his retirement after the 109th Congress. Henry was both liked and respected by those of us who served with him. He chaired both the Judiciary and International Relations Committee, presiding over both with the same intelligence and eloquence he brought to all floor debate. Last month, President Bush presented Henry with the highest Presidential Medal of Freedom Award, our nation's highest civilian honor for his meritorious service to our country. Members should know that uh, directly after votes uh, this evening, uh, that Mr. Roskam and I have reserved a special order to recognize and remember the service of Henry Hyde uh, later on this evening. Those who want to participate can do so or submit a statement. Uh, at this time, I would yield to my friend from Illinois, Mr. Roskam. The is recognized. I thank the gentleman for yielding. Madam Speaker, thank you. You know, many of us come to Washington, D.C. for our first time, and we go out and about, and we introduce ourselves. And I did that as a candidate, introduced myself to people, and they had no interest whatsoever in who I was. I tried then to seek a little bit of common ground and tell them where I'm from, and they had no interest whatsoever in where I was from. And then I didn't play fair. Then I said to them, I'm running to succeed Congressman Hyde. And at that moment, the demeanor on every single person changed. They pulled me a little bit closer, they'd grab my elbow, and they would say, Henry Hyde, let me tell you about Henry Hyde. And they would tell some unbelievable story about how Henry Hyde would come down to the well of this chamber in a packed place, and if the whole country watching, and do what great statesmen do, and that was to speak to the great way the issues of the day. Or they would tell me about Henry Hyde and a kindness that he had extended to them out of the presence of anybody else that no one would ever know about. And so it's with a great deal of regret that uh, Mr. Costello and I are here announcing the passing of a great man. This great man was my successor. And he was known not only ultimately for what he accomplished and what he stood for, but I think actually who he was. And so, Madam Speaker, I thank the gentleman for yielding, and I yield back to the gentleman from Illinois. Madam Speaker, I would ask the House to observe a moment of silence uh, in remembrance of our friend Henry Hyde.